Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Relentless, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 exclusive, Days Gone. Now, unfortunately, I can't show any of the actual trailer, but the trailer link will be down in the description below, so go watch that first, then come back to my video, and let's talk about it. A little backstory, Days Gone is an open-world action-adventure game that will be set in a volcanic scarred high desert of the Pacific Northwest. Where a survivor bounty hunter, Deacon St. John, who loves to live the life of danger, has to fight for survival two years after a global pandemic that has killed almost everyone. But the millions of others who were left for dead has become an unstoppable force called the Freakers. Amazing, right? Too good to be true? Well, no. In the gameplay demo, we saw two different kinds of Freakers. Horde, a group made up of hundreds of Freakers that attack together and act as one, and the Newts, which are hunters that stick to the shadows. I think the concept is fairly new and amazing, but we don't know how the final product will look comparing this to The Division and almost all the other games that have been featured at E3. A tad bit of behind the scenes, Days Gone is being developed using the Unreal 4 engine and has been full time development since January of 2015, which is awesome because that's the same engine that is bringing us Gears of War 4 this year. Since Days Gone is set in an open world environment, players have the ability to complete objectives any way they choose whether it be stealth or aggressive combat. The players can also craft new items to assist in their survival and combat awareness. Vehicles are also being added, but we don't know about any aerial vehicles at the moment. And if I'm wrong, make sure to correct me in the comments down below. Before I get to my final opinion of the game, I noticed a few things in the gameplay trailer that I wanted to show you guys and see what you think. And if there's anything that I missed or that you guys noticed, let me know. I'd love to check it out. So to start off, we have wildlife. I'm not too sure how the wildlife is going to work in this game, whether it has an effect on the character or if it's just there to make the game look better. But if it does affect the character to make us hunt for food since it is a survival game, that would actually be pretty cool. Second, we have makeshift weapon attachments. This feature is amazing. I love how you can find not just a suppressor, but find a truck and then think, hey, I might be able to use this instead of not being able to interact with it and actually just walking right past it. Third, cover system. Now, I'm not too sure about this. I'm not too sure if it's a feature, but I believe it is with this game being a open world shooter where stealth is an option. So if anything, I think that a cover system would have to be mandatory, but we won't know yet until the game is actually released or we get another gameplay trailer. Fourth one, zombie interactive objects. Making the zombies, or freaks in this case, come alive and break down doors, open railway cars, and getting to the player any means necessary is very different, and it will be different because you cannot hide and nowhere is safe. And finally, we have dynamic environment. A dynamic environment is great for any game, but this game does it great with killing the freaks and changing the environment any way you choose, and I think they'll vary depending on where you are, either in an urban or rural area. My final opinion on Days Gone is that it will be a fantastic game with all the different components in this game, and the genre that the developers are shooting for will make a great mix of gameplay and content. But I believe that if the developers extend their reach and try to get Days Gone on Xbox and PC, they would get a greater player max and get more revenue for everything as a whole. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. A lot went into making this video and it was worth it for me. If you learned anything new and are thinking about getting this game, leave a like and make sure to subscribe to be informed on more videos like this. Again, I hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you guys in the next one.